doing? Lovely to meet you. Come nice to meet you. Come have a seat. Before she starts the diet, Dr. Carey wants to check Fern's general health. Extreme dieting can harm every system in the body, so Dr. Carey does have some concerns. What I want to understand, I guess, from you is why on earth are you going to do this? I want to prove, A, how ridiculous these diets are, show the awful effects they do have on your body, and also just show how I can't live my life normally if I'm going to eat that sort of, you know, diet. So say I was going to do one day of that, mm -hmm. what is that going to do to my body, and is it going to have any long-term effect, or even short-term effect? Right. I think there are lots of risks associated with playing with these sorts of diets. If you just do it for a day, the most likely thing is you're going to feel hungry and cranky. Yeah. You may find yourself lightheaded and dizzy because you'll have potentially a low blood glucose and it wouldn't be impossible for you under those circumstances to faint, particularly if you're exercising. Right, yeah. The issue, I think, is that when people do this for several days on a row, people often get a sort of a slight euphoria associated with it. Right. So they feel really quite good. So my concern about doing these sorts of diets is that you may find actually it's not quite that bad. Mm. And then, you know, I often find young ladies say, well, and you know what, I lost three pounds in weight. So I didn't feel quite so bad, it was only for mm. a few days, mm. and then I've lost three pounds in weight. You only have to lose 10 or 11 pounds before you're going to start to get a diagnosis, mm. you know, by weight of being anorexic. I wouldn't want to underestimate that there's a real psychological risk associated with doing mm. these things. It has become a little bit more terrifying now. Even just trying the diet for the first time, I think, is going to be scary. You know, I don't know how that's going to affect me physically and mentally and emotionally. Maybe I will, as I predict, hate it and feel miserable. Or maybe I might think it was a lot easier, and then that might lead me to think, oh, I could do it again. But no matter how awful it is, how could I understand their point of view if I haven't given it a try, at least? Coming up in part two, a mother shares her tragedy. Between the September and November, she'd lost one and a half, two stones. Oh, my goodness. I think that has been my turning point. I just want to live my life for me as well as for Sophie. So, yeah. Fern Cotton is investigating a worrying new trend of websites where thousands of girls are meeting online to help each other lose weight. She's about to abandon normal healthy eating to expose the dangers of following a diet she found on one of the sites, the Rainbow Diet. Trialling these diets, it, I don't want to lose any weight. It's not about me trying to lose pounds here at all. Um, I just want to do this to, to experience how a diet, a crash diet, would affect my life and how all-consuming, I suppose, it can be. On the Rainbow Diet, you're restricted to a different colour food each day. Everything looks appealing. I want to sort of eat everything that's in front of me all in one go. Fern is beginning the diet with White Day. According to the diet plan, she's allowed to eat half an apple for breakfast, half an apple for lunch and a cucumber for dinner. So that in my basket actually is more than what I'm going to eat in two days. Take those two apples out and one of the bananas and that's everything in two days. It's only... It's quarter past 11 and I am ravenous. And I'm actually now, I'm quite excited about eating half an apple. Um, I went and picked the biggest one I could in the shop. <laughs> so this is going to be my breakfast. So I'm going to have the biggest half. Um, and this has got to last me now until lunch. I'm going to cut it into slices, by the way, because I think that might be more appealing today. It's going to be hell. So that, that's going to be my breakfast. That, and that, I mean, that's a big apple. I don't know how I'm going to be fueled for the morning on this measly apple. I'm going to be absolutely knackered in about an hour, surely. Determined not to let the diet change her normal routine, Fern is off for a 5k run. I'm already knackered. She runs at least three times a week, but today her empty stomach is causing her problems. That was one of the hardest runs I've done. It was so short. I just feel quite sort of spacey and odd. And I reckon, I don't feel hungry now. It sort of kicked the hunger out of the question because you can't really focus on that. But I reckon in an hour, I'm going to be absolutely starving. And then I've got a cucumber. And that is just going to be, that's going to be the worst bit. Because usually I'd go back home now and just go, well, I, what do I want to eat? Like, I'll just eat whatever because I can. I've just done a nice big run. So that thought is horrible. That's not nice. 
Anorexia can be an isolating illness, and the pro sites claim they provide support, understanding and friendship, away from a society that doesn't always understand. Um, morning beautifuls, this is one again from today, 11 o'clock this morning. Does anyone know how many calories in two centimetre widths piece of cucumber, like an inch of cucumber? Then it says underneath, <clears throat> think thin, girlies, and just remember, when you think of food, count ten and think, do I actually need this? And the answer is always no. So put it down and do 30 sit-ups to punish yourself for eating. And if you really need it, work off the calories. Say it was a 30-calorie snack, that's like a bit of an apple, like a cube of an apple. Do 90 sit-ups to burn it off, then you feel like you needed it. I just... Oh, it's just so sad. It's just so, so sad. Um, a girl here has responded, there's two calories in 23 ga grams of cucumber. The rules of White Day mean that Fern too will be tucking into a cucumber for her dinner. I'm having a whole one, which is a lot better than a two centimetre cube. Having only eaten one apple all day, Fern is desperate to have a proper meal. Later that night, Fern breaks the rules of the diet and goes out for dinner. She's surprised at just how guilty she feels. I started off like, oh, this is lovely, really enjoying my meal again. And then I started to feel a bit guilty because I'd broken the rules of the diet. It wasn't because I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to put on weight. It was because I'd broken these rules. It became more about the rules and the boundaries I'd set for myself. And that was really weird. I was like, I shouldn't eat all of the salad, like tuna steak salad. Like, shouldn't eat all of that. It's like a totally healthy meal. Um, because I'm breaking the rules and it, I shouldn't be doing it. And I came away thinking, I still feel now like I've cheated. I cheated the diet. I didn't do it. I didn't fulfil the rules. Oh, that's scary. That's really weird that I'd feel like that. I love seeing my friends. I love going for dinner. I love going for drinks. It's such a massive part of who I am. And to stop that or to feel differently about it or guilty about it, that's just not nice at all. It's really, really, really odd, really weird. After failing to complete the first diet, Fern wants to give extreme dieting one last go. It's diet trial day again. <laughs> And today, it's Sunday, so I've got my Radio 1 chart show, which I do every week. So I'm looking online at different websites and diets, and I've decided to try a horrendous one called the 2468 diet. Um, you have to eat 200 calories on day one, which is nothing, nothing. 400 calories on day two, 600 calories on day three, and 800 calories on day four. And then you go back to two, it's really bad for you. But I'm gonna try the harshest day of eating just 200 calories whilst having a day at work. And it's a packed day for Fern. Before her radio show, she has a photo shoot. To help her through the day, she's found some other suggestions on the website that allegedly will stop you eating. Try to touch your tongue to your nose. Other ones here, learn a new word. Make a thin inspiration. So I'm guessing that this is like a collage. The websites are full of thin inspirations. Pictures and videos of celebrities who are naturally thin and are considered an inspiration to those wanting to lose weight. Get some pictures of Kate Moss here. Um, obviously her legs look really tiny, tiny there. The recommended calorie intake for a woman is around 2,000 calories, ten times what Fern is allowed to eat on the diet. So these are pictures of Posh Spice. She's obviously always in the papers. The Richie, the queen of inspiration. Nicole Richie obviously started off a lot bigger than the recent images that we see of her in the press these days. So look, there's my Thinspo collage that I've made. Um, just ridiculous, really, but supposedly I'll be looking at this later and uh, that will supposedly change my thoughts on having a snack.